Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my first ever real life vlog. I know last video I kind of updated you on where I was with everything, but I do want to try to make this a weekly occurrence every Monday where I drop a video to kind of let you know what's going on with my life. There's a lot that happens behind the scenes for a full-time crocheter. I do also want to update my viewers, so kind of see this as like a video newsletter, but also at the same time, hopefully it's enjoyable enough content where we can kind of get to know each other a little bit better through the screen and I can kind of uh, show you what's what's cooking. <laughs> but I appreciate you being here. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted for any future content. You can expect a new vlog every Monday or Tuesday. We'll see how that posting schedule looks. And if you can't catch my content here, you can always hang out with me on the live stream. I do stream on Twitch every week. Be sure to find that link down below so you can be alerted when I go live there as well and all my social medias, of course. So the first thing I do wanna share that happened on Friday, I got to drop a new pattern on the blog, which was sponsored by my favorite company named Joanne. And the new pattern that I got to drop was my fun little pineapples. Um, these are super fun. Uh, they look a little complex. See all this texture? This is all made by the bobble stitch, which I do have a photo tutorial on that same pattern on my website, which you can find down below. But this is actually fairly easy to get into. If you know how to single crochet and knowing how to start an amigurumi with the magic ring, this should be a pattern that's super accessible for you. I know that the bobble stitch looks pretty intimidating, but all it really takes is a bunch of double crochets turned into one. All the materials found in the pattern can be found on Joanne's website, which on the blog, you can find all my affiliate links there. Feel free to check that out. And if you don't learn as well with the photo tutorial, this will come with a full YouTube video by the end of the week, which I'm very excited to be recording. That'll be my first full project in this new era of mine. And I think the pineapple is a good way to start. The second item on the docket to talk about is if you are within the Portland, Oregon area, locally or somewhere around there that you're able to drive, if you're wanting to, I actually will be hosting the grand opening of the new Joanne flagship store over in the Portland, Oregon area, over in the Clackamas Happy Valley section of the city. I'll be there on May 26th on Thursday, there from 5 to 8, just kind of hanging out, crocheting, getting to know the local community, and hopefully we can have a nice time seeing the new store. They're adding a ton of things, such as like a craft bar, which is gonna be awesome for people to kind of, you know, on down and hang out at. Not sure if there's a lot of other craft stores that are kind of making a community like that. I think typically we go to a craft store, get our stuff, and, and we're out. So I'm excited to see the company taking that kind of step to creating a community. So yeah, if you're in the area, if you've never met me and want to, if you and I are already good friends, or if you've even been in my past and you wanna just come say hi during these kind of exciting opportunities would love to have you over there be sure to check that out I'll leave some details down below and I hope you enjoy it the next thing I want to talk about for my life is now that I moved all into my new place I'm really trying to go after streaming and making that a focus for my my business and my brand I think it's important to be able to try to reach farther out and get to know my audience on more of a personal level I do stream on Twitch and streaming this past week was the first time in quite a few months. So it's always really nerve wracking jumping onto a live stream. When I'm filming for like YouTube like this, I don't feel as scared because I can manipulate it. But when you are live streaming, you know, it's live. So a, a bit, a bit freaky, um, but I had a very good time. We got to stream for a few hours. It's so awesome getting to know some of my audience. I know not everyone knows I'm streaming. You know how it is with social media, not always showing what your favorite creators are doing. So if you want to come hang out and crochet or talk anything such as Pokemon, politics, all those kind of things, we do chat about um, an array of topics. So make sure to find that down below. We are over on Twitch under the name Yarnpunk. Always a ton of fun. We are going to be trying to do some more crochet alongs that we can all do together. I have plenty of patterns that we could do that with. Um, doing community nights, perhaps hosting some Pokemon TCG content on the channel, as well as just chatting. I know in this post-COVID world, um, it can be kind of difficult sometimes to go socialize. You know how adult life is, it can be extremely hard to match up schedules, 
And on top of that, I'm not sure if you've heard of that whole studying technique or I guess just thing called body doubling. I never really knew what it was, but I do find it really helpful when I'm trying to focus or do anything on the computer. Something about having another person on the screen just kind of talking and being there is actually really beneficial for me and I know for a lot of other people that they uh, benefit from it as well. So definitely give that a try if you want to treat me as your body double, happy to be that for you. Outside of those endeavors for Yarn Punk and Not Bad, I am working on a super exciting side project. Um, I'm just as shocked I'm doing it, <laughs> um, but I will be able to announce what that is May 30th. So be sure to be following along so on the 30th I can share with you my announcement on a company that I am partnering with. It's actually a little bit beyond a partner, so we'll see. We'll see how that um, transpires into the future, but I'm very excited to uh, promote this product slash feature slash platform. Um, I, think, I think it'll make waves within the fiber community, so keep a lookout for that. Listening to music is a huge part of my crafting experience, so I do want to be able to share some music recommendations with you that have been on repeat for me all week. I'm loving the electronic elements plus the poppy vibe from the song Microdose by Kiara. The new single from Thaz and Below has come out called Venenosa. I am loving every second of it. I love it. Kind of has that post-hardcore sound with some breakdowns in the middle, of course. The new artist that I found is Lil Mariko. Her music speaks for itself and her screams are really awesome. And the last thing in terms of my personal life is I am a huge Pokemon TCG player. Um, I go play weekly at my local game store as well as I play online a little too frequently and I'm also a pretty avid collector. However, over in the Portland area, it's definitely gotten a little, a little dry when it comes to the competitive scene. And there's something in my bones that just wants to play competitive cards. So I was able to attend my first pre-release event for the Digimon TCG. Never played it before, but I got to go to my local game store and go play and it was an absolute blast. <laughs> um, you get six booster packs, and so I got to the booster packs, spent the first 40 minutes building a deck out of what I got, had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was feeling a bit out of my element and during this deck creating process. When the first round came on, I actually won my very first game against someone who has already been playing, which, you know, it, this is no determination on who how good you are, because it, it's just like a impromptu deck, but. I was feeling pretty proud of myself. I felt really good about that, and at the end I did win the entire round, so game one was mine, game two was a tie, but ended up becoming my win. Kept playing throughout the night. I did lose and win a few here and there, but my losses were extremely close, so feeling pretty good about that. So if you are into Digimon or the Pokemon TCG, definitely find me on Twitter. I love talking about that over on that platform, so Click down below to find that social media. I was able to pull some big hitters, which is super exciting. I love the art on these cards. I don't have a huge relationship with Digimon besides playing the Rumble Arena games back in the day. So really excited to kind of be jumping back into it and learning the lore and all the new characters involved. And that does it for my very first vlog. If there's anything else you wanna know or maybe video content you would like to see from me, definitely feel free to comment down below in the comment section if you're curious about uh, my day to days, how my schedule looks, all those kind of things. I hope you didn't mind hearing about my life and I'm excited to share more and open up with you. I will catch you in the next vlog next Monday and I hope to see you all over my social medias. Take care. Bye.